right, guys. Today, we're at Chefum 77, a hidden gem of a Hong Kong cafe right here in Taiwan. We're diving deep into the world of food photography in this cozy spot, so stick around. You're in for a treat. Before we jump in, just so you know, I'm using my trusty Nikon 18 to 135 millimeter lens on my Fujifilm X-T4. First off, it's got extra low dispersion ED glass elements. What does that mean? Well, it's all about crisp and clear optics. Basically, you get super sharp shots, especially when you're shooting things like food details or textures. Yeah, I've got an adapter ring on it. Why this lens? Because it's got the range I need. Now, here's the cool part. The focusing distance is just one foot, around 0.4 meters across the whole zoom range. That's pretty tight, right? Perfect if you're trying to get those close-ups in a small cafe space without losing any details. Let's get back to shooting. Starting off with those curry noodle packages. I'm using a wooden board to prop them up and overlap them with the hot pot hot area. This way they don't look isolated, everything just flows together. Now I'm waiting for that hot soup to hit the pot. Time for the top shot. Gotta capture all that steam and warmth to really sell that cozy vibe. While waiting for the next dish, I'm busy organizing plates. I brought my sketches from last week to plan everything out, layering plates for depth, but also balancing the shot with some square dishes. You don't want too many round plates on a round table. It's all about visual balance. Pro tip, make sure everything's lined up. I turned all the hams and sausages in the same direction to keep the visual flow smooth. It's the small stuff that makes the shot really pop. And now, just waiting for that smoky hot pot noodles to hit the table. All right, after nailing that top shot, I played around with some different depths and angles to give the client a few options. Gotta keep them happy, right? Next up, we've got the lo mein, keeping it straightforward, but still trying to get that angle that'll make you drool. Then for dish number three, it's the stir-fried noodles. The client really wanted that steamy vibe. Now here's the trick, guys. Capturing steam is all about using a dark background and some strong backlight. The contrast makes that steam pop, giving it that warm, inviting look. And for the grand finale, the cheese egg lo mein. Just look at that gooey cheese and that perfectly runny yolk. The texture is what sells the vibe here. You can practically taste it through the screen. All right, that's a wrap. What dish had you drooling? Let me know in the comments. And hey, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.